how to learn vibrato in three easy steps. Step one, wave your left hand, make a circle with your thumb and middle fingers and do circle droppers. What creates vibrato is the finger pad when you press on the string, dropping at the first joint of the finger and going back up, and that's what creates the vibrato. Middle finger is the easiest to start, so once that's been mastered, you can do it quickly as well as slowly. Do index finger, middle finger, ring, and pinky. You'll notice that the nails do not have to touch. Your fingers could be a little bit lower in the thumb, perfectly fine. As long as your circles are dropping, you're good. Step two, violin, guitar style. Let the hand rest on your left thumb and wiggle your hand left and right. Make sure you have a little bit of space at the bottom of the hand and you're not squeezing the neck of the violin with your thumb and index knuckle. Let the hand rest, wiggle left and right. When that has been mastered, add a middle finger on the A string and hide your position on C sharp. Gently squeeze the finger pad of your middle finger, your thumb, relax your knuckle and wiggle your hand, making sure the circle is dropping. So you do have to apply some pressure here, but remember, you cannot let the entire arm squeeze. Gently squeeze your finger pads on your thumb and your middle finger, relax the rest of the hand, and you'll be able to have this motion be done properly. Step three, violin in proper position. Now the first step is going to be dropping a circle without moving your hand. You'll notice that my hand is not moving in a proper vibrato position. That is because if you cannot drop the circle, getting the proper sound, you will not be able to do vibrato later. So start there, drop the circle without moving the hand. When you get comfortable with this position, release your knuckle, do a gentle squeeze on your thumb and your middle finger, make sure that your knuckle is not squeezing the neck. And that's how to learn vibrato in three easy steps.